And he's going to have to give the ball away to Salihig and number 21, Owen Drake. As that anticipation set in and everybody grew more and more anxious, just I think we were all too in our heads for sure with um, just the entire night. It's definitely a difference. Uh, I'm not, I I couldn't tell you what it was uh, honestly. Like I was kind of in my own zone. Obviously that was a huge game for me, so I was just trying to stay as focused and as locked in as possible. And I think the same goes for a bunch of our players as well. They're kind of just trying to not be distracted, really just focus on the game uh, ahead of us and make sure that we were on task not so we didn't kind of get off the bus slowly. Uh, but there were definitely, um, we lacked energy. Uh, even like the bus ride was very, very, very quiet. Uh, and then we got to the field, um, people started getting dressed and still there was like, it was a very different atmosphere than what we're used to. But um, I think players were just trying to stay as focused as possible. And I don't, I, don't, I can't say that that helped us or hurt us in the end. Uh, I think it was kind of just a thing. But I think when like the time came when we started doing warm ups, we definitely were able to pick up our energy. No, I don't think so. Nothing really seemed that off for me. Um, it seemed like, you know, we had we definitely had more like um, time to get ready. Usually we're getting off the bus, getting ready quickly, and then kind of going straight into you know specialist and dynamic. Then we kind of had time to really like take our time getting ready, take our time getting into specialist, and then. You know, we definitely had way more time, so maybe that's what it was. But, um, you know, I was, I feel like I was pretty focused and, like, locked into what I had to do. So, um, you know, there was really nothing I felt that was, like, crazy different. guys to respond well and just hey we, let's settle down there's a lot of football left let's get some victories let's make some adjustments that we have to hey we're 
we're, this is our third series on offense. So, hey, let's uh, let's execute more. And you just got to believe, and you're never out of the fight. You know, so if our guys keep swinging and keep getting after it, um, then that's all we can ask. And that all all it takes is one, just one moment of time. It's definitely just a lot of reassuring that you know the game isn't over yet. You know, we still have three more quarters to play, and you know, just keeping that mindset that. You know, they could score 19 in a quarter. We can do the same. So it was kind of just reassuring us that, you know, we're not out of the game yet. I think just, like, how long we've been preparing for this game, at least. Um, just, like, how, like, high we've been, how, like, how ready we felt. Um, I think everything worse that could have happened happened. So, I mean, it was a bad thing after another. And... Like you said, it led to us being down by three scores. So it was just us trying to keep our heads up, um, you know, knowing that like, um, you know, anything could happen. You know, worse things just happened to us. We were very unfortunate. So just doing everything next play by play, like trying to forget, um, and you know, like believe, still believe. We definitely wanted to make sure that we didn't uh, like lose focus and lose motivation. Uh, I think the biggest thing was not to stop firing on all cylinders. I think, obviously, uh, as a coach, they're capitalizing on energy and making sure we're picking guys up even if they're they're feeling a little bit down, which I think uh, we did we did uh, to a point, but we definitely could have done a better job looking back at it. I think like just being able to hold the guys next to us accountable, uh, and that like includes like me and our captains. I think uh, we should have kind of stepped up a little bit and could have taken that role a little bit better. But just making sure that everybody knows that the game's not over. We keep swinging. You know, a lot of guys are saying that. You know, stay in this fight, keep swinging. You know, it's never or over. You know, and we we faced adversity like this before. You know, last year when we played. Guilford Belmont and that was such a huge comeback for us and we know it's possible and we know what we're capable of and it's just it just our morale has to stay up you know our, our guys on the sideline did a really good job of you know keeping everybody engaged and excited but um yeah I just don't think there was as much juice as we needed. At the beginning of the game, I think we were just off to a rough start. We had two two touchdowns that were, that were rough. And I think some people on the team that haven't really been put in adversity like that, like, um, for example, we've we've been in Guilford Belmont last year, so we know, like, these things happen. It's fine. You can come back from them. But I feel like a lot of the people on the team haven't really been in those situations before, and um, that really takes a toll on them, I think.
does sting a little bit because it's all stuff that we had talked about and we practiced. Um, you know, let, case in point, their first touchdown, right, fourth down, we get an opportunity to stop them on defense. And, you know, seven of the 11 guys weren't doing their job, you know, and if you get one person that doesn't do their job, that's not great. But if you get seven, well, you know, that's a recipe for disaster. So what it is all, a lot of fixable mistakes, not so much scheme wise, but it just comes back to, to doing your 111th and um, trusting that the guys next to you are going to do the same thing. Um, but yeah, no, I think that we felt like after watching film and film session yesterday was pretty colorful, but by the end it was like, hey, we're, like, we're going to be okay, you know, and I think our kids felt that. Probably if we didn't score there, the morale would have been a lot lower. You know, we know we're getting the ball second half. Um, and we're thinking, you know, I mean, every drive we go into, we're thinking we need to score. We need to get this ball in the end zone. Um, especially down by, like, four possessions, you know, we're, we're making sure, like, yeah, this is a huge drive. We need to get this in the end zone if we want any hope. Um, and it was really big for us knowing that after that we get the ball in the second half. like to defer when, when we get the chance and um, I think that's a prime example right there why we do that so much you know we love getting the ball at half and especially when we're able to punch one in like you said right there before and then get the ball back and go all the way down the field again that definitely felt good I know like all of my teammates felt good after that but you know it's like you, we're not done you know we, we have to keep going um, we weren't playing to our full potential. We we're making crucial errors, um, especially in those first couple of drives. So I don't know. I think I think those those two prove that we're able to do it. We just need to you know execute better. I think it's really important, and I think it kind of shows what we're capable of on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, I think once the momentum was shifted, we were really able to pick ourselves up and and move. I think that was a, like a wake up call for the people that that weren't giving it their all. Um, 
but I mean, it's huge to to know that like even if you're down a couple of scores, that we're able to to pick ourselves up and keep going. I think it's going to be really important, especially when it comes to playoffs. Uh, just being able to to do that and know that we have the skill set to be able to score that fast and hold the momentum and lift guys up and just be able to point ourselves in the right direction, even when things are looking really tough, is going to be really important for us. Coming out of halftime, we knew we had to try to score. Like that was the biggest thing. Is that I mean, we've all went well over it, um, but those that drive right before half and right after half, I think that really represents our offense and like what we, our capability, what we have to do and. You know, against a really good team like Pelham, like mistakes have to be minimal. Um, can't have those big mistakes. Can't have four turnovers. Um, so I mean, it kind of just showed like you know we can still like stay in this. get one in there right before the half and then to score right at the start of the half like that's big and it's 26 14 and then we get a stop right and then we're feeling pretty good and we get another stop and um you know at some point i should have punted and we didn't um and then uh, boom pelham goes up 33 14 and it's like god ah, you know that we probably should have done a few things differently there but no i mean credit to our guys for um for keep fighting and they'll if they do anything they'll They'll never, they'll never quit, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it snowballed. It kind of felt like the championship game a little bit, uh, how things are starting. And it was, you know, not fun. But. Oh. what we have to work on like the areas where we're struggling the areas where we need to make improvements and I mean that's what we have film for and now we have film on that game we're able to watch it analyze it and like use I think it it's just coming down to what what we know worked and what didn't and we have to build off that uh, I think definitely um, 
like the biggest thing for us or what, what I saw uh, for the team as a whole is that we can't risk having little mistakes like we had uh, against a team that has, is as good as Pelham. I mean, against some of these other teams that we're playing, like we have the ability to sacrifice and uh, sacrifice those little mistakes and, and still be able to come out on top. But I think it kind of shows that like everything matters and it matters all the time. Uh, like little things, just we have to make sure we're, we're all playing as a unit together. And that, I think that's like the biggest thing for us. Uh, I think there was a little bit of uh, like some people were just trying to, to win the game themselves. And if we can stay as a unit and make sure that we fix up those little mistakes, we'll be in a lot better situation for sure. I think it can be a positive. Like every time, you, every time you lose, you learn something from it. So I was just saying there, I, I don't really know what we've, what we've learned from it yet. But um, I, think, I think having that film and knowing what we did wrong is going to help us make, make less of these mistakes in the future. No matter what the outcome, um, I think, you know, of course, you can always take positives out. And I think for us, it's just knowing what the amount of mistakes we made and how to improve on those. You know, um, a lot of it was assignments on defense that we, um, you know, didn't execute on. So I think it's just like, you know, knowing in the back of your head, like, all right, like, can't do this again. Well, we've already went through this, you know, and we get a lot of good film out of the game, of course. Um, I think very positively it wasn't like a playoff game, still just a regular season game, you know. Um, and just learning from it. Um, remember that feeling of that loss. And, um, you know, just coming into this next week, not really like, you know that was still just a regular season game. Now we have another t another opponent, another opponent that we're focused on trying to go on another this week, and get some momentum into our playoffs. So, you know we're not too worried about this. Lot. Like I feel like a lot of us need to just forget. And I mean, of course, you know, remember what what we need to improve on. But just knowing that it's a new week, we have a new opponent, um, and focus on getting the win this week. Yeah, I mean, I think our players and our coaches feel like that. Um, we'd love another crack at them, and um, you know we'll be better the next time we play them if that's a, if that's the opportunity that we're given. Uh, we still got a couple. We still got to get to go one and zero for the next four weeks to get there, and you know we got a great John Stark team coming coming to town this week, and um, and they're going to be a playoff team, and they play football in a phone booth, and they're going to be pretty tough. But in terms of watching that game. And, you know, there are certainly positives that are going to come out from it. Like, hey, for all that, for as bad as we were, like, there's still fixable stuff and we're going to be better and we're going to be all right.